Hey guys, it's me again, the hand. Not really. Uh, so I wanted to show you, me and the wife had some bonding time today with insulation. Uh, all that insulation, it was in the corner here. You know, I have two here and a bat and I don't know, like eight left. So uh, we insulated this all around to that corner. Wasn't too bad. And then I insulated part of the roof. Uh, so I still need to finish this side. And it's just getting late in the day. It's, uh, what time is it? 8.10. So, uh, you know, I got a little welding to do before it gets dark. But I wanted to show you. I'm almost there. I had to, I had to strap it all in, um, you know, because gravity and stuff. So it's all, uh, the roof's insulated. The walls are insulated and uh, I need to finish this end piece and this top part of the roof. And I got enough, ins I probably have too much insulation, you know, with these guys here and what's left outside. But uh, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Having lived next to a highway, it's freaking quiet in here. This, uh, this rock wool really does a great, great job at sound deadening. Uh, they actually have another brand instead of uh, Comfort something or another. Comfort Soft, Comfort Bat, Comfort Bat. They have one that's called Safe and Sound, and it's even thicker than this. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Ah, it's even thicker than this stuff, and it has a lot more sound attenuation. Um... I don't need that in here. I just need insulation because I'm going to put a, uh, oh boy, mini split in here as well so that I can control the heat, you know, internal air conditioning, get one with a heat pump so I can heat it in the winter if I have stuff in here that needs heating. And, uh, you know, I'll probably put that like, I don't know, back here somewhere, maybe up, up in the top. I, I don't know yet, but, um, yeah, so, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, almost done. I don't know if I've explained exactly what I plan to do here yet. Uh, maybe one of the old videos or something. But, so the brooder bins I have are 150 gallon, uh, like, foam, foam plastic. It's like foam core plastic outer core or something. It's kind of like PVC. Um, they come out to about here. So I can fit. They're about this wide from the wall. And I know with the camera, that's kind of, you know, could be three inches, could be six feet, but they're, uh, about 26 inches, maybe 30 inches wide from here. And they're, <clears throat> they're about here to the wall. So I figure I can fit probably six or seven of them across here. And that'll give me the ability to, you know, rotate up to bigger stock the, the more they grow, right? So all my, uh, yeah, all my brooders will be over here and the cameras will be over here. And I'll have all my water set up. I'm going to put a rail across the back here for water. Um, when I say a rail, I actually mean a piece of PVC tube that has, you know, little nipples or whatever that can hook some, some of that quarter inch PEX into and uh, feed my water bowls. And then over here, <clears throat> I'm probably going to use that cabinet, maybe that one right here, and put them up above here, and underneath will be a sink so that I can wash the things out and get more water and fill up their water bowls if they need them or, you know, for the babies and whatever. And the cabinets, you know, I'll store, like, uh, the special stuff to the supplements like the yeast and uh, any vitamins and any, uh, like, the blue coat or any sort of... Uh, you know, incidentals, stuff like that, that needs to be, you know, hand soap, for example, um, in that cabinet. And then along here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do above the sides, uh, or above the sides, on the sides of the wall. Um, maybe some shelving or something. I, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. You know, the longer I have this thing, the more ideas come to mind, right? So I do know that somewhere in here, whether it be over there or over here or up here or, you know wherever 
I do need to put a network rack for my network equipment so that I can, uh, you know, like the switches and stuff. Like, uh, for example, this guy here that I'm taking such loving care of, you know, a network switch. Like, uh, it'll be a rack and it'll be sitting up on the wall here so that I can actually plug in all my cameras and all my networking gear and all the things, all the controllers and whatnot. So I have one central location and they're not inside the hen house over here. Oh, reach that hen house. So they're not inside the hen house uh, where they're all dusty and dirty and stuff like that. And uh, speaking of dust and dirt, so a mini split uh, is a split system. That's why it's called a mini split. It's, it's smaller than a regular central air system. And the purpose of a mini split is to have um, an easily installable air conditioning system on usually a per room basis, but you can get them with many heads. And the head is the thing that mounts across the wall there, right? So they sell what's called a ducted mini split. And what that means is instead of that thing that goes across the wall that you point your remote at, it's actually just a duct, uh, m well, more like a box. So it has a box with flanges on it. And what happens is you can screw ducting to it. Now I'm not gonna screw any ducting to it, uh, maybe. So the back side, the front side I'll leave alone. I'll just put like a filter, I mean a grate on it or something, but the back side I wanna put a filter on. And my brother works in HVAC, so I'll get him to build me a, uh, a box for the back of it and in that box it'll be a filter box and I'll stick like a Merv 19 filter in there and that'll keep all the uh, feather dust from floating around and landing on stuff and it'll keep the air moving and you know whatnot and so they have good ventilation and uh, control the temperature in here we have a visitor doc yeah he's he's judging it's like you suck feed me Anyway, so I wanted to show you the progress. I think I've made good progress for a couple hours. Um, you know, me and the wife worked really well as a team today. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing, right? The better you work as a team, the better, you know, more closer you are or something. I don't know. I don't know how the saying goes. But uh, I think maybe tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all damn day tomorrow. Literally all day. So I think maybe tomorrow I'll spend some time in here. I got enough room on the floor that I can cut up some bats myself and uh, stick them on up there. But I got to move all this crap over to the other side and I'll we'll be good to go. So, uh, you know, that's it. That's uh, that's the duck house. Oh, it's absolutely glorious, isn't it? I got no step. So that's about a foot and a half off the ground. And uh, I got a light in there with a burned out ballast. So it's only half lit. And, uh, you know, doors falling off the hinges. I plan to rip these doors off. I don't know where these doors came from. Uh, they came with the shed, obviously, but I'm, I'm feeling like they were interior doors at one point. They're not exterior rated, even though they're probably as old as the shed, <clears throat> close to 40 years old or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's old. Um, you can see I have a support here because this whole door was sagging down on this side and it was scraping and getting stuck on the threshold. And this door just fell off the hinge on the bottom here, so... You know, the whole frame, this thing had termites, and this this frame here, it's just kind of rotten. So what needs to really happen is for me to replace the frame and just build new doors. Um, I'll get there one step at a time. <coughs> anyway, peace. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the hand. See you guys.